Okay, so in this session, what we are looking to do is to follow the steps to install Keras. Um, to go to Keras, you just point to keras.io. This is the Python deep learning library. And uh, in order to install this, what we do is that we follow the installation instruction. And what it states here is before you install Keras, you do need to install some of the backend engines. Um, in our case, we are just going to make an attempt to install TensorFlow. So we'll open up the TensorFlow installation instructions. The one that we're interested in is uh, Windows. You can make an attempt to install the other two if you like. Um, I won't be showing that in this video. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to install TensorFlow and Windows. Now, one of the main thing that you do need to take into consideration is that uh, whether you do have uh, GPU or not in your system. Now, GPU here really uh, refer to the NVIDIA uh, GPU. Uh, I will make an attempt to install with GPU. Uh, now, the installation without GPU is easier. Uh, in our case, we're going to make an attempt with GPU. Uh, in, in any case, uh, you just try to follow these instructions. If the GPU doesn't work for you, switch over to the CPU instructions installation instructions. So following with the TensorFlow with GPU support, um, it runs a lot faster with GPU, so hence we need to look at what are the requirements we need um, to install the GPU support. Uh, a couple of things is that it needs, uh, for first thing, is that it needs CUDA Toolkit 8.0. Um, you do need to install this, and the second thing is that uh, the reason we need the CUDA uh, toolkit is because NVIDIA drivers make use of the CUDA toolkits. Uh, so as a result, before we go there, we do need to actually go to the NVIDIA documentation. We can see that we're kind of like going deeper and deeper and deeper. There are a lot of dependency here. So, um, so there's a fair bit of reading here involved. What we will do is that uh, we'll look at the system requirement. This is really the CUDA ins installation uh, guide for Microsoft Windows. Right, to use CUDA, you need the following. Let's just zoom this in. You need a CUDA capable GPU. I do have one. Mine is not really that fancy. Uh, let me just show you a system info. And you can go to your hardware. You can have a look at. Uh, no, it's actually under components, which is under your display. And mine is the uh, GTX 1060, um, only six gigabyte. Um, right. So that really tells you that well, I do have a GPU. This is how you can tell whether you actually do have one or not. Uh, you do need to, if you have uh, one that is different from GTX 1060, do Google. Uh, online to see if um, your GPU card or your video card actually supports GPU processing or not. All right, so yes, mine does. Uh, a supported version of Microsoft Windows, yes. I'm running Windows 10, so it's fine. A supported version of Microsoft's uh, Visual Studio, we will just ignore that for now. We should actually have that in place. If not, you do actually need to download one of these. Um, all right. The next thing is we do need the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. So before we go there, um, all right, we have Windows 10. So it runs on a native 64-bit. Uh, so that's fine. And what it's looking for is these types of compiler. OK, so anything from Visual Studio 2010 all the way to Visual Studio 2017. OK, you can actually download these for free. Um, 32, it doesn't support anymore. Okay, right. Now, before we go on, we do need the Visual Studio 2017 because uh, Microsoft uh, has um, has already uh, no longer support the rest. You can't download those anymore. So we just uh, we just download the free version. So let's see if we can actually go here. Right. So 
this is the the version that we need visual studio community 2017 so let's just download this no thank you okay so that's finished downloading so you just select that yes and follow the instructions on screen all of these installation can take a while so we'll just have to be patient okay uh, in my case I have already um, installed this so what I will do uh, to, is to update it in your case if you have not installed the Visual Studio um, 2017 version you might want to um, download and install it okay that's done uh, I won't be modifying or launching it so I'm just going to close this we already installed that that's really all that we need so having done that um, all right yes we have the GPU yes we have the right version of window and yes we do have the Microsoft video visual studio now the next thing we need is the CUDA toolkit so let's just open these up okay uh, CUDA toolkit 9.1 download um, operating system so you choose the one that works for you I'm gonna choose Windows and I have Windows 10 and I can download now what's the difference between these two uh, what just let's just have a look the local installer is self-contained and includes every component the network installer is a small installer client that will only download the required components during the installation it is faster to download but requires redownload each component okay so in this case um, that didn't seem to matter I'm just gonna use this I'm gonna download the whole thing okay so the base installer is 1.4 gigs so it's really quite massive um, so you might want to um, make a cup of coffee step away it really depends on your internet speed uh, mine is fairly decent uh, I mean although it's not super fast it's sufficient for my use you can see that uh, for the one gig it's probably about one minute to download okay that's done now there are two thing here that I ask you to pay attention to one is that um, the checksums can be found here and up in the interest of time I'm gonna skip that I'll leave that for you to actually double check that it is a good practice uh, to ensure that you download the correct version and that it's not one that is uh, has contained virus second thing is that for further information see the installation guide for Microsoft Windows we're just going to open that up and have a quick look there is actually a CUDA quick start guide as well so this is the actual uh, installation and verification on CUDA uh, on uh, installation of CUDA on Windows uh, we won't go through this let's just uh, select this what we downloaded the CUDA 9 that we downloaded and select that and run it okay yes do you want to allow this app to make a change to make changes to your device yes okay just follow through with the instructions please enter the folder you want to install I will click OK okay um, the installation has just been completed you are now at the first screen is running some system check compatibility let me just move that screen okay we'll wait for that to finish running
Okay, make sure you read the end user license agreement, which is also called EULA. Okay, I've read through this. Uh, if you agree with that, click agree and continue. Um, in our case, just the expressed uh, version will do. Okay, we've finished our with our installations. Um, there are some summary here that we it pays to read that, that talks about the nice site. Uh, what's in store is nice site for Visual Studio 2017, uh, the monitor and HUD launcher. But what was not in store was uh, the 2015-13. Okay, those are just earlier versions. So only chosen to install Visual Studio 2017 version because that's really the driver that we have in store for Visual Studio. So that's pretty much it for NVIDIA CUDA. So we we'll click next and we we'll want to launch the samples for now. So we're just going to close that. Okay, and that's really the release highlights. And that's pretty much all that we want to do for now.